we'll, I, I will be calling out some names pretty soon. So Rafa, do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so how are you? I, I just want to like emphasize that your voice is really so energizing and it's really nice to also see you. That's really amazing. I mean, really, honestly. Um, so yeah. My camera works today, so <laughs> I have yeah. no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. So, and yeah, you are talking about the word club and I am really completely ignorant about that. <laughs> so I, I don't know how this could be the high um, of someone. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so uh, some of the tips you were sharing, I've already known before. And you know, when it's come to practical, uh, it's not the same as knowing the theory. So for me, for instance, I know that um, how to get over things, but it really didn't work at that time, at that uh, obstacle when I just face it. Okay, uh, so what what was your high last week and what was your Yeah, yeah, just going uh, directly to that. Uh, my okay. highest, I guess, when I just, uh, in the first time I saw the, my code is working. I mean, the plots going out of the screen, that was really nice. I mean, I was just doing it uh, by my own because I tried several of codes and like a million times when it just worked out, it was really nice. And one of the, another ones, it was uh, when we shared the thank you notes, the gratitude, it was really like one of my highest uh, of that week uh, shared with you guys. And um, for me, my low one was, uh, yeah, again, so uh, it's not exactly about me not submitting or uh, feeling that in, I mean, um, with the group that competition, uh, competency is like the high somehow, but it's about um, seeing 10, uh, 10 Academy doing all of that effort and not being able to submit. I mean, that's really like the one that hurt me, right? It just feel like they are putting so much effort and it's just put more and more. And yeah, that's make me feel like uh, somehow uh, low. But one tip I will just share and want to emphasize is like, uh, um, because it worked for me more uh, in, in, in many times, uh, treat yourself like someone you love. Because we always kind of treat others um, more better than we treat ourselves. So just to share it with you guys, everyone here, treat yourself like someone you love. And uh, yeah, I think Thank that's you. it. Thank you for the tip. Uh, that's that's really important for for mental wellness. And as as you've heard the testimony from Daisy, if you don't if you don't take care of yourself, yourself won't take care of you. Okay, so we need to take care of ourselves to be able to take care of other um, other matters. So before before we get to Stella. I, I, I would like to hear some male voice and you know I understand I'm an African woman and an African person I know like sometimes in our context we feel like sharing your struggles or sharing things that you're struggling with it's a sense of weakness especially when it comes to uh, our male counterparts so I would I would like to give you some good news and just like Jeremy and others who were and Michael who were able to share what they're struggling with, it's uh, it's not a sense of weakness. It's actually a very big strength that you are able to acknowledge areas that you're struggling with, areas that didn't work for you, or something that was very stressful for you because you're just human as well. Okay, so um, Stella will go first. Then we'll have Nahum. I don't know Nahum if Nahum is on the call. Um, if if he's not, then we will have Geza to join. So uh, let's Stella, are you there? Sorry, I'm not yeah. Say that. Yes, I am. I hope that you can hear me. Okay, yeah, I can hear you properly. Well done to you. Uh, so I can go ahead. Yes, please. Okay, so my biggest high last week was. Of course, the highlight of the week, my birthday. I was turning a year older and I just got to experience uh, a lot of um, 
celebration and love from my family and friends and um all the appreciation from ten academy um and then my low was uh i was getting constant headaches last week because of too much screen time which i'm not really used to so uh yeah that was what that was the hardest part and then uh, my most stressful uh part was when i lost power and i couldn't su- uh, submit my task and i had to submit like a whole night after which was more than 10 hours so i was really stressed during that time i couldn't even sleep i was thinking uh wow i'm definitely failing this bit yeah so i was really stressed uh, but i i just i made sure to do my best and um with the headaches i've gotten uh glasses to help me with the screen time so i'm hoping it will be better thanks for sharing that and uh, I, yeah i hope you don't have um more complications with your eyes uh, i i think i also had something similar last month in terms of like screen time but it's good to um w- when it comes to screen time so this is what i was saying earlier we we, we need to understand that our work our work is mainly it's a, it requires the computer all the time it will require you to be on the screen so um if you able uh if if you able to um or maybe when you want to relax and do something else try to do something that does not involve the screen so basically i know some somewhere saying that oh i i i rested over the weekend i watched millions and millions of movies and all that so that at some point does not help a lot especially when it comes to your uh to the well-being of your eyes so sometimes you want to just take a walk you know stay away from the tv and all that take a walk do exercises go and chat with people otherwise you might be disconnected from the entire world so now home i know you're here if you can hear me just um unmute and tell us a little bit about your high and your low of last week okay so hi mary can you hear me hi. yes loud and clear all right so some of my highs were like meeting up with my friends over the weekend that was quite nice because we were all caught up in our lives we went for some indian food which was quite delicious Ooh, some curry yeah and the low would be probably saturday's late submission that didn't quite feel well and the most stressful stressful part was working on task 4 i couldn't understand some of the sub tasks and that got me stressed a lot and how did you go about it i mean i eventually figured it out but when i encountered the problem the first time that didn't feel good okay so uh, maybe you can give us i i know you are you are the most concise and straight to the point person <laughs> um but maybe you can <laughs> yes i know but you, you can take us through that moment where where you couldn't figure out uh what you're supposed to do with that assignment and how how did you how did you transition from not getting to know and put yourself into a mode of i, I have to know and now you know we just want to, to hear a bits of tips on how you go about stressful situations so that we can borrow some oh i normally like move away from the computer for okay. a couple of <laughs> for a couple of hours mm. and basically that's what i did i read some articles while i was sitting down and got to it eventually awesome thank you very much there's a consistency of ditching the laptop staying away from the crime scene you know okay it's not a really a crime scene but <laughs> in that situation when you <laughs> when you're stressful we we we've had a consistency of the people who've shared with us as like just pause 
go in, in a new environment, stay away from what you were doing to try uh, and reflect. Thanks, Nahum, for that. And uh, uh, Meron, Meron, you're there? Yep. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, Mary. Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. So tell us your high, low and stressful moment of the week, last week. Okay. So I think my high moments for last week would be on Sunday. Uh, I went out uh, to hang out with my friends. I haven't been outside the whole week, which is like crazy. <laughs> and then on, Saturday, on Sunday, I went out and had good food. I, I ate some noodles, so it was nice. nice. I had a, I had a good time. Uh, my low moments for last week would be quite a lot, but I'll pick one. <laughs> I had a couple of those. So my lowest would be on Saturday. Before that, on Tuesday, I was so stressed out, but I managed the stress by doing something else other than the task. As I, I took a minute or so off and baked a cake. It seemed to be my stress nice. management. <laughs> and after I did that, uh, I really worked well. I was in a flow and I, I did the data cleaning and stuff well. And so the rest of the days I would exercise or something to manage my stress, but on Saturday it was just too much. So I did the first task, but I couldn't do the rest of it uh, because there was so little time to even manage my stress and get to work uh, because of the submission time. And so I think Saturday was my lowest point. Okay. Thank you. And it, was it, similar there's most stressful moment as well yes but i tried to manage it and like go a bit further than i was before i got stuck but on saturday oh, how did like, you manage it as i said i baked oh okay <laughs> after, the baking mat. yeah after that i i did something other than coding or uh, staring on the screen so i kind of relieved some of my stress through baking a cake and eating it, of course. Yeah. And do you like baking? Is it something that yeah. you love doing? Or it was just I, something you wanted to try? Uh, no, I really enjoy it. It's quite like my hobby. I like baking. Okay. Thank you so much. So so a tip from Meron is trying to do other hobbies that you love doing. Okay. So um I personally, I, I, I like hanging out with my friends. I play cricket. So this weekend, after a very stressful week, I, I, I played some cricket as well and, and watched a football match, which really went so well and met uh, friends that I had not seen for a very long time from Rotary. So yes, I agree. It's good to do other hobbies that are minor coding and all that. So Jonas. Jonas, um, you know, I like the story of uh, uh, many of the stories that has the name Jonas in it. So Jonas, we want to hear from you a, bit, a little bit from you. What are you? Hi, uh, and Hello. you low the week and the most stressful moment. Okay, you're on mute now. So if you could just yeah. unmute. All right. Okay. So uh, I don't know how many stories you've uh, heard about uh, Jonas. So actually, uh, I got no one who has the name as mine. Like in person, I don't know anyone. But uh, I'm having, yeah. I'm, I'm, but I have the most common name. Uh, I don't know why, but. Uh, when it comes to the low highs, uh, I don't think I have a very unique thing like the. Oh, did we lose you? Uh, I submitted the assignment late, so that is uh, the low. Sorry, we missed the high. Oh, I missed the high. Day while like, doing the assignments, so uh, I 
don't have high moments like last week, so. <laughs> that, no, so. even the one which is almost high, you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's crazy. I was auditing the week, like, it was like, I stand up, like, do the assignments and like, sleep. And this, like, I did it over and over again for six days and <laughs> nothing uh, new. Like, I haven't even uh, seen any like new YouTube video, so <laughs> I don't have that much. Okay, okay, um, I, 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 I get you, I get you. It gets to a time where it felt more like the day you spent on Monday, it's similar to the one you spent on Tuesday and similar to the exactly. one you spent Wednesday. So maybe let's talk a little bit about this one. So it's going to be 12 weeks. And honestly, it's going to be 12 weeks of hard work. Okay. So do you think, do you think um, spending all the 12 weeks, just like the same you, you, you did last week will, will be sustainable enough to get you to the 12th week? Uh, what I am thinking is like mm -hmm. I'm in the process, like maybe in, in the first few steps of developing this habit. So, uh, like, I like what I'm doing. So like, okay. within, throughout this 12 weeks, I'm, uh, I hope I'm going to develop this habit. So, uh, through time, it's going to be, uh, sustainable, like, so. I believe like maybe the the the, the challenges will uh, become so so much alleviated when uh, weeks goes on. So I, I believe it's uh, sustainable. So thank you for for mentioning something very important: the enjoying part. So I think as as long as you are enjoying it in the way it is, then that is okay. So otherwise, if um, there are people who wouldn't enjoy necessarily like having uh, the same sort of like a Monday, uh, same sort of day uh, on a Monday, on Tuesday consecutively. So in, 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 in situations where um, you are one of those, it's usually best to take uh, breaks, just like what every, uh, other people have, have uh, shared with us, they did. But once you know where exactly you, in, what you, you enjoy and where exactly, uh, I mean, your fulfillment lies, then you stick to that, okay? So there's usually not a specific formula in terms of um, making sure that you're efficient. It's just knowing what is your best, uh, what is the best way for you to make sure that you uh, that um, you're operating at the maximum maximum efficiency so that is up to you to find out um and so who's who's going next thank you so much jonas jonas thank you so any anyone willing to share next or i just we have so many beautiful names here so i could just call uh, upon someone if nobody has their hand up. So D, I, I, I hope I said it well, D Mark, do you mind sharing with us a little bit? I know um, you, 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 are, you are not in favor of my Saturday win, but you can share your highs, your high and your low for the previous week. Okay, can you hear me? <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud. Okay. Okay. So my high for last week was uh, at uh, attended a, a wedding, uh, my friend's wedding actually. Uh, I had quite a good time there. Um, we had so much fun, and uh, my low is also related to the wedding. The wedding was on Saturday, uh, so Saturday I couldn't work on the projects, and also on Friday uh, most of the time. Uh, I spent preparing for the week, uh, for the wedding, so that led to uh, late submissions, uh, and I was uh, quite stressed with those. Uh, 
the, the grace period uh, helped a lot because uh, I was able to submit to one or two uh, assignments on, uh, during the grace period, but the rest I couldn't manage to finish. So I have to sit in for the 50% reduction. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I, I think a lot of people had weddings this week and uh, it seems, okay, Amal, you're next, you're next. Do you want to share? Yes. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay. So my high moment was uh, was on Friday exactly because uh, when I weighed myself, I saw I lost two kgs. <laughs> Yay! Program. <laughs> it's very intense. <laughs> and uh, my low moment was uh, when I was sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the stressful moment is the last submission. How did you? Uh, how did you? How did you go about that stressful moment? I want to hear a little bit about that? Okay. Um, I submitted uh, even despite uh, uh, the deadline, and um, I was able to finish uh, at least uh, three assignments. Mm. Yeah. I left only two pending. Awesome. Um, awesome. So Hikma, can you hear me? We still have a few minutes. We still have about um, 18 minutes or so. So we can hear from Hikma. Hikma, if you're there. And then Amon, start clearing your throat and drinking some eggs to clear that throat. You're next. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, my high moment was uh, from last week. My mom was had uh, a surgery and she recovered from her surgery and she is severe. Uh, that was uh, my high moment. And my low, uh, my low was uh, I'm quite uh, my job from because of uh, Teen Academy. Uh, so that, that's what, um, that's my goal. And uh, my uh, stressful moment is uh, the first two days of uh, uh, within in the training because I lost uh, totally. I'm lost. I, I didn't uh, know how to start uh, with the assignment. Uh, and uh, uh, it was uh, really <laughs> a stressful moment. Uh, after two days, I am. Um, I'm capable of uh, to know what to do with that statement. Okay, and in terms of stress itself, okay, yes, you you went through the situation. In terms of stress itself, when you were very stressed, how what do you usually do? Or how, what how did you go about it? What did you do for you to be able to get to the other side? Uh, I'm searching a lot of things, resources, uh, friends. Uh, like uh, before, uh, uh, I do a lot of uh, research that I'm doing. Thank you so much. That's very helpful. As you guys have heard, another another way of relieving such uh, a stressful situation is speaking to somebody. It is okay. It is okay, and it is okay um, to speak to people when you're in your low moments when a, a situation is stressful maybe you're you're stressing out about work and and usually uh, the science about the stressful situation is that it gives you it blocks you off seeing anything else objectively everything seems very difficult at that stage so it's usually nice to kind of you have a, a whole community of 48 plus people you can always reach out to somebody speak to them about it and let's be also receptive to uh to receiving such messages from our fellow um our fellow trainees because at the end of the day we know our aim uh we are going we are our our aim is to get through this training and excel at it together leaving no one behind so let's be open to that and especially for the male for, for uh for the male trainees it is also okay to reach out okay it's re it's okay to reach out and to um cool off some steam so 
Amon says that the microphone does not work. Okay, you don't want to us to hear your voice pro probably next time. So next Monday, let's try and fix our um our mics. So Shaka, Shaka Kevin, if you can hear me, just on mute, and probably we'll have two more before we close up. Shaka, if you can hear me, you can just Hello, unmute. Can you hear me? Hi, Shaka. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so over the next week, over the next week, like I could start with my law. So I was really sad by by like watching Chelsea lose that win. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I would say that Liverpool didn't really deserve that cup. <laughs> and they like my heart is to like I was really excited to start the ten academy. Mm. And uh, Week one, week one was really challenging, and unfortunately, I was unable, I was unable to to finish all the all the task. Due to so, the sorry, a bit. Was... Daisy, if you could hear me, just okay. I will just I will just mute you. All right, keep going. Yeah, like uh, I was not able to to finish all my task. Mm. Due, to the, due to the fact that I was not like healthy, um, headache for the Thursday and, and Friday, so I was not able to finish all my tasks. So week one was like quite challenging, but it was also a learning week because I did learn many concepts. Thanks. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much for sharing that. It's it's unfortunate that uh, your, your law is actually my high, but that's how the world works. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, uh, let, let's see, um, there are more opportunities ahead for, for a win for you. So Salam, I can see your hand up. Uh, feel free to unmute and uh, tell us your high, your low, and the most stressful moments last week. Okay, okay. I think you can hear me. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, well, uh, my high moment, uh, okay, let me start with the low and the stressful moment, actually. Uh, my stressful moment and at the same time my low moment was uh, uh, two days straight. Uh, there was a blackout and I was having difficulty in completing uh, the most of the tasks that were given in the previous week. And uh, not only that, I even uh, submitted the career exercise using my phone. My PC battery died out, so it was really stressful. Uh, to do the technical part uh, for two days straight. And I wasn't sure if I was going to complete uh, at the end of Saturday. Um, but uh, on Saturday, I managed uh, to finish most of the tasks up to task four, uh, starting from task two, actually, starting from a, a task to have and uh, to task four. Um, and uh, I submitted more than I even anticipated. Uh, I sit for a very long hour, like more than uh, 14 hours straight, I think, just to finish the tasks. So uh, that was really challengeful and stressful. Um, okay, before you, maybe before, when you're still on that stress, you mentioned something very interesting. You said you did not think you were going to submit on time. Oh, yes. And on the other hand, by the time you were doing it, you actually did beyond what you expected. So maybe walk us a little bit through what exactly happened from that transition of you thinking that I can't to you even going beyond what you were expecting. What exactly did you do to, to get into that mode and how did you get there? Because it was a stressful situation to think about. Yeah. How did you go overcome that, manage that and actually surpass your expectations? Actually, the short answer to that would be desperation, <laughs> you know, I just, the first thing is I was uh, so desperate in understanding everything I can and completing because uh, I've already known that the projects and the, the tasks given were uh, real world problems. So uh, in the real world, I might face similar situations and I mm -hmm. need to know how to handle it. So I need to push my limits and uh, I did push my limits uh, and it's really amazing. I've learned many technical and non-technical issues when I did that. 
um, the non-technical part being, you know, having great consistency, no matter what. I'm going to submit whatever I can at the end of the day. So uh, I didn't give up. So the, what motivated me was mainly desperation. And the second is I was really into the work, you know, if it was not for the technical issues, I think I would have done better. Uh, so I didn't complete all the tasks that were given. I managed to complete most of them. And uh, I was kind of relieved for that. And uh, when I come to my high moments, it's this actually, this uh, the fact that I managed to do more than I expected. And also yesterday I was having fun time. You know, um, I managed to watch uh, all the movies and series I missed because of this training. And uh, that was how I just relaxed. So that was my high moment. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing. And you will be surprised how much uh, the sense of achievement is fulfilling. And as you could hear from Salam, it became her high moment right from being a very stressful situation for her. But that sense of achievement can uh, usually boost you and give you morale into, um, into achieving even more, wanting to do more. So um, thank you very much for sharing that. And, and what, what you've said, you achieved this because you desperately wanted to do that. If we can connect the dots from what um, also um, Arun shared with us um, this morning, he said sometimes way of overcoming this is remembering why you're doing it at the first place. Okay, sometimes you just need to reflect. Some, you get to that moment where you feel, ah, no, okay, I feel like, yeah, I can't go any further. You, you will get, you, you might get to that point. But again, one of the biggest motivators would be step back and think about why you started at the first place. What is it that you want to get back into? So that reflection, that self-reflection, it is what actually helped even Salam to go through that, that, that very stressful moment and uh, because it motivated her, even though she was way stressed into doing that. And to her surprise, she actually accomplished more than she thought she would accomplish. And, and it ended up becoming a high. And that being high, it means it's usually a cycle of motivation and achievement and the sense of feeling like, you know, you know, um, the sense of, uh, or that sense, that big sense of achievement. So uh, thank you for sharing that. It's usually a very interesting cycle. And uh, sometimes it can be a thin line between a very stressful information that ends up being a very, very, very um, a high on your end. So anyway, so we can get one last more from Margaret. Others? Who are, I have a very good, 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 good memory. So people who have not said anything today, including Amon. So next Monday, you have to share with us a little bit. Okay. So Margarita, your turn. Hi, Henry. Hello. Hello. Um, my my lowest point or during the past week was fixing unfixable bugs on code it was very stressful it could sometimes take a whole day and then for you to realize it was something very simple um or you just missed something so that was it was very draining um i can't really picture my highest points last week <laughs> if it's okay or normal okay yeah so your low moment was also your stressful most stressful moment yeah and what did you do what, what do you do when you're in that stress you know if it takes you the whole day it's a lot of frustration and all that what do you do um ask around and take a break for a while and then come back to it when you're fresh um yeah really important really important thank you very much anyway um we've come to um the end of today's uh, uh cbs 
and thank you very much for for sharing all i can say is that oh let, let me read um amon's i can see amon's comment he says it was pretty much the same week so many highs uh, that, that that's good to know amon would be on sunday drinking beer listening to music and chilling out with friends and law will be uh, missing the career assignment probably the deadline because of a migraine on um on friday on friday so oh sad to hear about the migraine ammo and hope you're feeling better today hope you had um a refreshing week uh, so, yeah, as I mentioned, we've come to the end of our CBS session. It was really nice to hear from all of you. I know most of my sessions are usually on Slack and getting to type a lot and laugh a lot on Slack. Um, but it's good that probably on Mondays we kind of, um, I also stop, want, want to feel, um, don't want to feel only bored. Yeah, so it's good that you... Um, that you were engaged on this one and all i can say I, to remind you it's okay not to feel okay sometimes and you should not be so hard on yourself don't be so hard on yourself you're just human so uh, understand yourself better understand what works for you and it's good that most of us i think it's through the week zero through week one we've seen a lot of improvement in terms of how you manage how you're managing this stressful situation without breaking really so that is very uh very important so thank you so much unless uh there is any any announce i don't think there's any announcement maybe uh everest do you have any announcement if none i'll see you in the next session uh i'll be behind behind the scene as usual but tomorrow cbs don't be late bye thank you guys cheers Yes, Abdul, we can now end the, the recording. Thank you so much.